we've looked at Primat at a way of removing backgrounds so that we can then get rid of a blue background, say blue sky in the shot with a, a flower in the foreground, and replace that with any background we like. And there's another plugin called Mask Pro 3 that we can also use, and you'll find this image here on the cover CD. Um, I'll probably change it to Mask Pro 3 to make it easier for you to find. Um, and the first thing you need to do is to unlock it, because if you don't, then when you try and use the plugin, it'll give you a little warning like this, and you might not know what the heck it's going on about. So just click OK there and double click on the thumbnail to unlock it. Click OK, and now it can actually get to work. So let's go and have a look at that. That appears inside the Photoshop interface, which is good. Look on the on one. Um, section and go to Mask Pro 3 and that will give you this um, little box here. Don't worry about serial numbers and things because you've got the demo version so just click on demo and you can then play with the software. Okay so here we have our new interface. We've got uh, a couple of little floating windows here, the keep and remove option. Let me just um, bin these. I've already been playing around with this particular package so uh, I've been experimenting just to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Um, we'll have a look at these um, options in just a second. Now, this is very similar to the extract filter in Photoshop. And the way it works is you select the area you want to keep by using this little brush here. So just click and start to draw. You can draw freehand, um, like so, around the colors, just up to the edge, but not over the edge because we don't want to touch any blue. And uh, a quicker way of drawing, of course, with the brush base tool in Photoshop is to hold down Shift. So if I hold down the Shift key and click, it will draw from the last point. And this works with any Photoshop brush, by the way, um, which is a quick way of drawing um, around straight sort of shaped object like this. Uh, flowers might be a little bit more difficult when you're doing your macro stuff, but um, for this area here, I'm just going to pop down to the bottom there finish that line. I'm making sure I haven't gone anywhere too near the edge. No, that's fine. And then I can carry on editing these bits that I want to keep as well. If I go out into the blue, I can hold down the Alt key and erase. You can see it's changing to the eraser um, like so. Um, so you've got a toolbar full of tools here, but the combination of key strokes like Alt allows you to actually get the tools very quickly and not break up your workflow. Um, you can also zoom in, of course. If you've got a fiddly bit to select, like the uh, this area here, then let's go back to the Keep tool again. And use the bracket keys to change the brush size as well. I'm using the left bracket there, the square brackets, just to make a smaller brush. So I can select in here without going out into the edge of the sky there, because we don't want to add any sky to our selection. Um, OK, that'll do for the moment. Let me just... Um, fill that area in and let me just zoom out. If you hold the Alt key down it changes to uh, a zoom out option. And we're going to fill in that area to keep by using the fill option. And you can basically just, while you're still using this tool here, if you just hold down control, you get a little paint bucket and click and it will fill in that selection there. We're not quite finished there because we want to keep that flagpole. So I'm going to just zoom in on that section. Just click and drag a marquee around there. There's the flagpole. Get the keep tool and a nice small brush because we don't want to stray outside of the flagpole there. Uh, hold the shift key down. If I click at the top it should give me a nice straight line without going into the, the blue at all. I think we've got away with that. So now we can zoom out again. Hold down the minus key to zoom out. There we go, and then we use the keep option. Uh, so click on here, and then make a bigger brush, of course, because we've got quite a small brush there. And then just draw the, the sky. Now this sky was cloudy. It would also add the cloud to our keep um, pixels. It's just basically choosing the sample pixels to keep and the sample pixels to get rid of as well to create a mask. So ignore that horizontal line there, that's just an artifact caused by my video capture software. And again, if I hold shift uh, down, I can then draw faster lines much more quickly. And again, this side as well. Be very careful not to overlap the own building. I'll go to freehand here for this bit. And 
off we go around the edge there. I could make a smaller brush if I like, but it should manage with this kind of mask here. Let's go around there and click to finish. And of course, if I then hold the control key down, I can fill in that section there to get rid of, and again, control to fill that one as well. So we've got something that looks like this. Let me just um, press Alt and zoom out for you so you can see that a bit more clearly in my rather small screen. Okay, so you could get rid of that now, but let's, before we do, just hide these highlighter things by going up to Highlighters and Hide Highlighters, because then you can see the picture more clearly. And if we go to the Magic Brush now, we can then start to paint out things. And if we go over here, we should see that it's not um, going over the bit that we wanted to protect. Uh, so Control-Z, or Undo if you like, by going Undo Stroke. And if you think it's going to work OK, have a quick look here. A nice gap between hard and soft here is quite good. You want to keep that there. Tick Use Color Decontamination as well, because if there's any blue inside the keep area, um, it would keep hold of that. It wouldn't poke holes through your, um, your building. So um, that's worth keeping tick just in case you end up with holes in your mask. And when you're ready, just instead of painting all the way around with a magic brush, you don't really need to do that. You can just double click on it and down the bottom here it's calculating the mask. It'll have a bit of a think and then we will see our final key. There you go, it's removed all of the sky and it's kept the little fine detail around here, it's kept the flagpole as well um, so it's done a, a fairly good job so we could keep that, um, as it's a demo it won't let us um, so I'll say don't worry about applying the changes if you've got access to Photoshop Elements 4 then there's a very similar way of extracting um, a foreground from a background to the um, Mask Pro um, and if you've got a uh, Macintosh of course you won't be able to use Elements 4 so you might need to consider um, Mask Pro as uh, an alternative. But if you have Elements 4, let's have a quick look at how the tool works. We go to Extract using the Magic Extractor, which is under Image, then again it's quite similar. You have um, brushes that can define what you're going to keep, like this, but um, the advantage in this is you can be quite slapdash about the way you select it. You don't need to go as close to the edges as you do with the Extract filter in Photoshop CS or indeed with um, Mask Pro. You can be much more rough and ready. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to select these guys up here because that's just too fiddly. But I'll just click a little dot there as well. Um, if anything goes outside the area I can um, use the eraser tool there just to tweak it. Um, let's choose the background as well now to define what we don't want. So if there were any fluffy clouds there I'd have clicked in those as well. Um, and I'm just going to click around there and a wee dot there. Just change the brush size using the left bracket key those are the rectangular brackets, so very very rough and ready a little bit of a click in there as well, just inside that section there, we can zoom in and have a look at that if you like just to make sure I've not selected the um, the metal there yeah that looks okay so let me just zoom out, and we're all ready to preview that now so let's just give it a go and see what happens um, you don't expect this to work because of the uh, scribbling, there's no filling needed like you use with the extract filter, this is the magic extractor so it makes life a lot easier for you and after a bit of a think you'll see that it's managed to do a pretty good job, I'm crossing fingers and touching wood here um, if it doesn't work I'll just edit it out and do it again but um, yeah let's just see how it does in real time there we go, that is pretty amazing actually because you've got um, even the little bits I didn't even bother looking at it's managed to pretty much get most of those. There's a hint of blue sky there which we could clobber with the magic wand and if we zoom in close you can see there's a wee bit of a fringe around the edge there and that we can clobber by using the defringe option so let's just try that let's maybe take that down to about one pixel otherwise there's a danger that we'll lose these aerials and antennae and things so defringe and it should eat away into the mask a little bit and remove a hint of that blue that we get because a fringe is quite a common thing it's still thinking because it's quite a large image and yep you see that it just zoomed in a little bit and tightened the noose around that picture so if we just zoom back out again uh, and in fact click OK it should then apply that we didn't even need to unlock the file either um, so if you've got any macro photography that you need to, um, to adjust and you've got uh, Photoshop Elements 4 then you can use that amazing magic extractor 
to um, do quite good work. And if you're using Photoshop CS on a Mac and you don't have access to Elements 4, then you can use the Mask Pro software instead as a plugin. Or you can try the Extract filter as well, though. To be honest, the Extract filter is a bit rough and ready um, and it's a bit of a pig to use. So Mask Pro is quite useful um, if you don't have access to something like this.